people call me an audiologist. Others call me a hearing nerd. Being human with hearing loss is like my superpower. As a hearing doctor, I get to help people hear their best while learning about the mysteries of hearing. Hello humans, welcome back to Dr. Rose Helps You Here. I'm Stephanie Rose and today I'm going to show you the world of hearing aid apps. Okay, so not the world, but I'm going to show you a few different hearing aid apps and how they work and that will help you if you're choosing to get a new pair of hearing aids. Help you make your decision on maybe what sort of interface you would prefer. I also wanted to say thanks so much for watching my channel. Please remember to subscribe and hit that little bell button so that you can know when my new videos hit. Today I'm going to show you four different hearing aid apps. The first thing I'll do is show you their programs and how to change them. Also the volume control. And then if there's any extra features like sound controls that you have access to. I'll also show you how you can find your hearing aids if that's an available feature. And then also any other interesting things that I like about the app. The first app I'm going to talk about is the Oticon On app. So this is for the Open products and the Open S products that have made for iPhone or Bluetooth features available. So that's going to be this one here, Oticon. So it will bring you to the home screen where you have the remote control for the hearing aids up top and then a lot of other features that you don't necessarily need to be able to control your hearing aids. So I'm not going to talk about all these different features, but I will say that these hearing aids are special in that they are the first internet hearing aids where you can set recipes to command your hearing aids to control other things like smart home appliances with a push of a button on your hearing aid. So for our purposes today, we're gonna go to remote control. The different programs are at the top here, so that's how you can change your different programs. The volume control is here to turn up and down. If you hit this button, it will split into right and left. You also have your mute buttons down here at the bottom just in case. If you go to <clears throat> the remote microphone or the TV button, if you have the TV app or the remote control, remote mic app, sorry, remote microphone, you have the ability to control the environment volume versus the device volume. So you can turn down the other sounds that you don't want to hear and just emphasize the sound coming from the microphone or from the TV. So that's really nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the other things that are available on this main home screen is the ability to track your usage, which is kind of nice as a new user so that you can stay on top of your full time use so you can acclimatize well. The other things on here that it, it has are, you know, connections to your uh, fitness trackers and things like that. So under hearing aids is where you're going to find, find my hearing aid feature, which is right here. And it will hone in on where your hearing aids were last seen with your iPad or your iPhone. So the hearing aids, all of these hearing aids I'm talking about today do not have GPS inside. So it is imperative that you check your settings to make sure that you're allowing your, your smart device to have access to your location while um, using your hearing aids. So ask your audiologist or hearing care professional about that. So that is the Oticon On app. So volume control programs. Um, the other thing that it does give you access to is on the program one, you have this little button called Open Sound Booster. So you just wanna to toggle that on, make sure it's green. Um, the thing that this will do is help to turn down low level, uh, simple background noise. So not complex conversations you don't care to hear, but more like a buzzing sound that the fan's making in the background or like a coffee machine going off, that sort of thing. So that is the one <clears throat> extra feature that it does give you. The tinnitus program is really nice and I plan to do a whole separate video about tinnitus applications. So just know that this one does have that available. The second hearing aid app we're going to talk about today is the MyPhoneAc app. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. 
we're gonna go to remote control is usually where it will start you when you open up. <clears throat> okay, so under control, under at the top here with the little carrot, you can hit this to get to your different programs. Um, right now I'm just in a custom program. I'm gonna go ahead and go to auto sense, which is like the automatic program. You get a nice battery symbol right here to let you know how much battery is left in your hearing aids. This MyPhoneAC app is more for the new Marvel hearing aids that are out there that are classic Bluetooth. So this is not made for iPhone. You'll see that it does not have a find my hearing aid feature, but we have a nice volume control here where you can have that. If you have two hearing aids, it'll let you split. It does have the mute button here and then a sound enhancer down here that will allow you to control the bass, the mids, and the trebles. So that's kind of nice. You also have these little instant help buttons up here, like the clarity button and then the comfort button. So it has a couple different preset uh, settings for your sound. We also have a volume control here, so you don't have to go back to the other screen, which is nice. You have control over the, the noise reduction here, which is nice. And then I like this feature where you can control the microphone width. So you wanna go real narrow if you wanna hear just the person in front of you, or you wanna go wider if you wanna hear the people on the sides of you, so that's nice. This last feature down here, I find to be a little bit confusing for patients. It's um, it's more having to do with like compression ratios and how much soft sound you wanna hear versus how much loud sounds you wanna hear. So in this case, I would just say, press buttons till you hear better. And if you happen to be hearing better after you've pressed all those buttons, hit that save button down there. That way you don't have to worry about what you did or figure out what you did. You can come back to the remote control screen and go down to that custom program that you made. So that's a great feature by uh, the MyPhoneAC app. In here, let's say you made a bunch of custom programs, you can go to My Hearing Aids and then go to My Programs, come down here to your custom one and then you can rename it or you can delete it. If you want to rename it, you hit that little pencil button there. So that's that's how you get to that. Um, I, I found uh, a patient of mine had like 20 different custom programs and didn't know how to get rid of them. So it is a little bit of a complex um, way to drive the app to get rid of those. But that is the MyPhoneAC app. So it's great, simple to use. It gives you some extra controls compared to the Oticon On app. So the next one I'll talk about is by Widex. So that's that purple one there. This is for the Evoke products. And then they also have a new Moment product that just got released. Um, and I'm actually gonna be training on that today, which is cool. So it usually will start you off in this universal program, but you can just press, um, you can't swipe to get to the next ones, but you can go down your list here and get to the next ones, next programs. You have your volume control here. Sorry, volume control here. This only controls both ears. You have to actually go into a separate menu here and do left and right toggles to get to left and right, which I don't prefer. Um, I would rather it just be in this normal program screen with a split down here, but you know, there's patents on these things and they maybe couldn't get a hold of the patent that would let you have that on one screen. The my most favorite feature of these programs here are, is the directional focus. So they were the kind of the first uh, hearing aid company that allowed the patient to have control over where their microphones were pointing. So the best one here is, you know, um, uh, you have front, back, left, right. Um, but the back one is kind of nice for people who are in a wheelchair and need to hear the person pushing the wheelchair. Or if you're a mom and you've got kids in the back seat and they're being a little bit rambunctious, you wanna be able to hear them well. So this is a great feature that uh, Widex had first come up with. The other thing that the sound menu will give you access to is the equalizer. This will let you control bass, mids, and trebles, but they do have a thoughtful set of um, preset uh, frequency responses here. So again, press buttons till you hear better. Uh, if you like what you did, if you go back one screen, you can hit save as, and then it will let you have a custom program. Uh, the other thing that's in your list under sound menu is sound sense learn. This is a basically like a tutorial that will walk you through sets of A and B comparisons while you're in that given difficult environment and it will change different features of the hearing aid, um, both frequency response, uh, noise reduction, that sort of thing. 
when you get it to where you like it, it will actually give you a new custom default program. So if, if you know, you're a little bit um, hesitant to push buttons till you hear better, uh, you can certainly try the SoundSense Learn. The only thing I think that could be improved is if the audiologist could see what kind of changes were made with that SoundSense Learn so that we can craft a custom program for you when you come back to clinic or through remote programming. Um, so that's kind of neat uh, with that feature. It's definitely the first time we've had some AI inside of the hearing aids making decisions on its own based on your responses and your preferences. Up in the top right corner, you do have a little battery symbol which will let you know that you're connected and what your batteries are doing there. Sorry for the glare. Um, so that's the uh, Widex app. And, oh sorry, last thing with the TV, TV program, if you hit that sound menu again, and you go to, let's see, equalizer. Oh, I thought that it had a, the ability to change the TV volume versus the hearing aid volume, but it doesn't appear to have that. So that's one thing, oh no, it does, I'm sorry. Under sound mixer, I thought I, I thought I remembered seeing that. You can go towards the TV, so more TV, or towards your hearing aid, so more surroundings. Um, uh, so, and then you can control your volume here. So that's kind of nice that they give you that ratio to play with. Um, it's a little bit of a learning curve with trying to control that, I think, for some patients. So again, just hit buttons till you hear better. Uh, the next app I will show you, we, we went over the Oticon app, the Phonak app, my Phonak app, and the Widex app. So the last one I'm gonna show you today is by Resound. Resound is a made for iPhone uh, uh, hearing aid app and this one's called Resound Smart 3D. It also now works with the Google Pixel and some select Samsung phones. Uh, I have yet to see if it uh, can find the hearing aids though, so I'm gonna try to hook that up and figure it out. Um, so definitely ask those questions if you are an Android user before getting into uh, a Resound uh, uh, Quattro is the line of hearing aids that uses these, uh, this app. So when you open it up, you come to your all around automatic program. You have your volume control down here. You can condense or separate the ears here. You have your mute button on the side here. Uh, you can swipe or press to get to the next program. And anything that has a symbol like this is going to have access to tinnitus masking uh, uh, controls. Under sound enhancer here, you can also tweak the bass, the mids, the trebles. Um, they have some uh, presets that will be available to you uh, on the front screen here. So like clarity, speech and noise, I'm sorry, noise filter, speech clarity, over here on restaurant, you also have hear everyone. So that's basically controlling your microphone width and, and your noise reduction. So easy, easy peasy, press and get better results. Under sound enhancer for restaurant though, they do give you access to that noise reduction. So you can see how much it's giving you or you can just kind of leave it in a strong position. And the bigger bubble tells you where it defaults to. So that's where it always will start. This one down here is your speech focus. That's controlling your microphones or you can set it to automatic so that it will rove and find the speech for you. And most of the hearing aid companies have an automatic type setting for your directional microphones for noise programs. So anyway, you set it where you like it, you can add it as a favorite, and that way you won't have to remember what you're doing. Uh, under the status is where you can find your battery life. So each little dot is about 20%, and you can see that you're connected to the phone. We can also have the different ratios. If you go into the TV app, you have um, TV streamer versus surroundings, so you can kind of work those. I like that you can also um, break up the ears in case if you wanna hear TV in your right ear and maybe uh, the wife or husband in your left ear. So you turn down the TV over there and turn up them on your left side. So that's kind of great that you have those features. It's a little complex, but again, just hit buttons till you hear better. Um, now, anytime you tweak these programs, it's going to reset to your default when you restart the hearing aids. If you just restart the app, it's not necessarily going to change how the hearing aids were set, so keep that in mind if you wanna go back, dunk them in your charger, or do a hard restart. 
Uh, the last thing I'll show you here is under My Resound. So My Resound, and then you can do the Find My Hearing Aid feature. So that is a great feature to have, but one thing to note about the Find My Hearing Aids is that it actually does not have GPS inside the hearing aids. It's inside of the Apple device or possibly um, Pixel or Samsung device you're using. I have to double check on that, like I said. So you have to, there's two things here. One, you have to have your iPhone or your iPad on you when you've lost the hearing aids and it has to be powered on. <laughs> Number two, uh, you have to allow permissions for that iPad or iPhone to track your position while you're not using the hearing aid app. So some of the hearing aids will force you to keep the app open in order to track. They're a little bit older, but now you can say, nope, track my location even if I'm not using the app. That way you can use the app to find the last geotagged location of where your hearing aids were when you lost them. So that is uh, the only caveat to that. Another great thing about this uh, My Resound is the Resound Assist. So now you can do asynchronous programming requests to your audiologist or hearing care professional. You can also do synchronous or live assistance. So that, um, that part though, you don't need to have the app open. That's all facilitated on the professional side for the live programming. Um, but it's great that in the time uh, of the pandemic that we have access to remote care. So those are all the different hearing aid apps out there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that little bell button so that you can see when I have new videos. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And if you have any suggestions or there's something you would want to uh, see in a video, just let me know. Thank you so much. You guys have a great rest of your day.